what's going on guys welcome back to the show welcome back to the channel today we're going to be checking out spartacus once again yes spartacus season three episode five is here and last episode um last time i did three episodes um to continue the season of course and i ended up being very disappointed with two of my favorite characters navia and crixus navia you know crixus listening to navia when she knows she was wrong she knows she did something wrong and instead of just coming out and saying she did something wrong she decided to add to it you know and to drag Crixus into the mess and I'm wondering if he's going to realize what's going on in time before he before they go their their separate ways I'm pretty sure they're gonna go their separate ways now because they can't deal with Spartacus anymore because Spartacus apparently Spartacus is too soft now this the, the man who's been keeping them alive making great decisions and been keeping them alive they're going to turn on him now to say he's soft on the Romans and all this other stuff. You cannot spark a, a, um, a righteous rebellion by becoming the same thing you're trying to fight against, which is, you get what I'm saying? You can't become the people you are fighting against. Like, if suppose the U.S., when they went into the, to the world war right and found the concentration camps suppose they had said oh let um oh they're already dying anyways we shouldn't save them right we shouldn't save these jewish people because we know what a german was doing to them but let's not save them because you know this is war you know let's take them and put them in our concentration camps right Suppose the U.S. had done that. That's what I'm saying. You can't become what you're trying to fight against. You get what I'm saying? And that's why I hold Spartacus to the highest degree because he's not doing that. He's not treating the Romans the way how they have treated them in the past as slaves. You know what I'm saying? He'll find a way, find a, com a compromise to you know what i'm saying and yes people are going to not, you know they're not going to think the same way you do you get what i'm saying and they might try to kill you in the process but would you you know what i'm saying like a lot of people might look at it and say oh it's a tough decision yeah it's a tough decision being honorable is not an easy thing to do because it goes against our natural nature so much. You get what I'm saying? It's not natural for people to just be honorable. And people think that it just comes natural. It's a hard thing to do. It's a hard road to walk. Because we all... We're wicked people. Our hearts are wicked we find satisfaction more in the things that are bad than the things that are actually good. That's human beings, man. That's why it's a hard road to walk, to walk in an honorable state throughout this life. It's not easy. It's not an easy thing. People look down on you. People gonna call you soft. People going you get what I'm saying? If you can endure through all of that, you can come out a better person you will die a better person you know and a lot of you guys you know disagree with me with the point I was making about them um, that they should you know because I was saying that I disagreed without um, with the 50 50 ration thing you know what I'm saying you know and I understand the point I still I still disagree but you know, I do understand your point because, you know, I don't shun from a, um, from opinions. You know what I'm saying? I don't shun from opinions. Made a great point. You know what I'm saying? In the comment. Um, 
you know and it could work like that i i, I really do i i still think that in 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 the middle of war <laughs> in the middle of war soldiers got to eat over prisoners you get what i'm saying um somebody made the point to say that it's not they're not prisoners of war cuz they weren't fighting um they're just civilians um anyways <laughs> anyways let let me not go there because um civilians civilians are not if 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 you get caught up in the middle of war they decided to take the city everybody in rome is at war with the spartacus crew regardless if they see um if they see spartacus coming they're not like oh they're coming to free us you know what i'm saying that's not what they're saying they're going to report him when they see spartacus they're Spartacus crew, they are enemies of Rome, okay? Rome, Rome, not enemies of Roman soldiers. They are enemies of Rome, okay? If Romans see them, they're going to report them. Only the slaves, and no Romans are slaves. They don't keep, Romans don't keep Romans as slaves. They keep other people as slaves, Okay? It's a war against Romans, civilians or soldiers, okay? So to me, in my eyes, even the civilians are at war because they're going to report them. The Roman civilians, the ones that in the high ups and whatever, they're going to fight against them, right? She, If she's such a civilian, right, if she's such a civilian, why did she go and rescue her Roman friends and keep them in a cellar? You know what I'm saying? And, and and keep them in a cellar and feeding them in a cellar if she was not against Spartacus. When she knows she had the freedom to take to treat them well, make sure they eat in the open. But she decided to go rescue them and put them in a cellar. If you are not an enemy of Spartacus, which he already told you, you could you have the freedom to move about as you please. But she still decided to go behind Spartacus's back and do some and do some shit like that. And I'm not supposed to consider you a prisoner of war? Really? Come on, man. Come on. Let's let's put logic into this. Okay? I understand that they're not soldiers. They're just civilians. I get it. And if we were talking about in real life, you get what I'm saying? I could totally understand country against country. The civilians don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? You know, but if you pick up arms or you are an intelligence officer, because in, in some ways you can consider somewhat of an intelligence officer, a spy even. Because the, the minute she got the chance, she she heard that um, Crassus was coming. What did she do? Oh, we're going to be rescued. Talking all kinds of shit, right? Okay. Right? She's a civilian. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's my point. You can always combat it in the comment section, whatever. We're going to go watch this episode. Let's go watch this. See you guys later. Bye. See you guys for the review. So I will begin this by saying silent tongue and open fucking ear. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for coming over, checking out the review. As always, man, Spartacus episode five through seven is what we just did. Um, season three, of course, final season. We have three more episodes to go. I will be doing another triple upload as soon as I get a chance to do so. I will not blue ball you and give you two and then leave the final for first of course i'm trying to get through these series um i'm trying to get through them because i don't know it could be um it could be a while you know what i'm saying if things get back to normal next month 
then we're going to go back to the seldom uploads which I'm, I'm trying to finish up at least the series that we've been reacted to of course we're not going to get through the walking dead probably not through vikings but we'll see i know this pandemic is still going on we're st we're still quarantined at the moment so i don't want to assume anything but i am trying to get through as much as i can reaction wise so we can move on to new series so at least you won't feel so slighted that you know uh, things as you know slowed back down i know you guys are not going to complain you will understand but at the same time you know I'm trying to put out as much reaction. Some days I am going to not put up any reactions. You know, there are going to be some days that you don't get reactions because sometimes I really do need to take a break from, you know, staring at the screen. You know what I'm saying? All week and stuff like that. Um, I do try to give my eyes some rest. You know what I'm saying? Um, or just play some video games for a couple of hours or whatever. And then, you know, just relax for the rest of the day, you know give the significant other some you know some time with me and you know how that goes but in, in in any case um this series as it's coming to a close and to talk about these three episodes we we just watched we saw the 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 culmination of of what happened between Crixus and Spartacus they made back up that they had another dispute again so it's kind of it's kind of like you know if you, you 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 know they're family they're gonna fight you get what I'm saying I thought they was gonna split off into two groups but thank God that didn't happen um you know I wouldn't have liked that scenario I think the writers um would have done a great job with that scenario as well but I like this one better you know of them making up understanding each other it's just that. Crixus is more of, what do you call it, an enforcer when it comes on to, to battle. He doesn't really think about the aftermath, which is what Spartacus actually challenged him on. You know, he challenged him on it and saying, you know, so what after? After we do that, then then what after? Because they're just going to keep sending more men. We got to strike a blow and make sure that we strike the blow to the point where they're like, yo, just, you know what I mean? Like, to the amount of people that are dying because of this war, this rebellion. If I was the Senate, I would have been like, yo, do we really, it's not like these guys are looking for us. We're the ones looking for them. We're the ones trying to take them down. I'm pretty sure... You know, in some sort of weird way, I'm not trying to say that um, the rebellion, Spartacus Rebellion, is not trying to wage war against Rome itself. You get what I'm saying? But at some point, they got to realize that they don't, they're don't, they not going to have enough people to take on the entirety of Rome. Pompey just came back from his victory. If, if Crassus fails, you're going to have to deal with them next. You get what I'm saying? Like, ah. Uh, it's a tough it's a tough situation because it's just gonna be more and more and more you're gonna have to deal with because they're not gonna stop because the Romans feel like this is war and they're gonna keep sending people until they get Spartacus of course because I think if um, Spartacus dies the whole thing dies you know what I'm saying I think Crixus is too rash to to really he doesn't have the headspace to really be a leader. He's he's a leader, but he's he's very he's very um I don't want to say confrontational, but he rushes things too much. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't lay back and see what the enemy is doing a lot of times. He just wants to rush in. Yo, let's let's overpower them with numbers. Let's play the numbers game. It's like, yo, there's a thousand of us. There's probably like a hundred of them. You know what I'm saying? Let's go take them out. Which in that instance, you get what I'm saying? In that instance, yes, would have made sense. You know what I mean? In that instance, yeah, it would have made it would make sense. But at the end of the day, when Spartacus was having that conversation, they didn't know what lied beyond that wall. They didn't know, you know what I'm saying, until Spartacus figured it is like everything that we expected them to do, right? 
everything that we expected them to do, they're not doing that. It keeps turning into traps. You get what I'm saying? Which is what Crassus is using against Spartacus is because he knows that Spartacus knows how Romans move when they move with their army. They know how they do things. So Crassus is using that knowledge against Spartacus to do the opposite or to do something other than what he thinks they would do. And that's always catching Spartacus off guard. So he finally gets a one up on him. And I love that smile he gave Crassus at the end when they showed up. He's like, yeah, nigga, let's play chess. You want to play chess? Let's play chess. You know what I'm saying? And the two of them really love their character, man. Really love their character. They're smart. Reminds me of when I um, when I read The Art of War by Sun Tzu. It's just I'm seeing so many of those elements play out in this show and I'm pretty sure at least one of the writers for this show have read that book because I'm telling you I'm seeing a lot of the tactics that was described in that book if you've never read the art of war go check that book out by Sun Tzu it's a very popular book among um, people who want to become great leaders because not everything is about war you know what I'm saying but it's the the the, the intentions and the stuff that is written in that book they so relate to real life that le almost every great leader in the history of leaders have read that book. Um, you know, talking about modern leaders, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not every leader read, um, leader in history, but like modern leaders that we know, if you ask them, they have read it. Donald Trump has read it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm just saying, guys, that this series is one of those things that you really have to take into consideration when it comes on to just factoring in how good the show is when it comes on to comparing it to other shows and stuff like that we got to consider the writing in this show because it's absolutely brilliant you know what i'm saying i would have loved to see it go on for more seasons of course at, you know at least five you know what i'm saying but we got four seasons that's including the prequel you know which is something that I've always said that Game of Thrones should have done. You know what I'm saying? They should have done the seek the the prequel while we while they were waiting in while we were waiting for um for season eight to come out because they didn't really have any material. When they ran out of material, especially like I think everything is made up. I think it was like after after maybe season i want to say i think it was season five was the last season of game of thrones that was like canon with the books um i think i don't remember exactly i'm pretty sure one of you guys are going to remind me of it but in any case whichever season it was when they ran out of material from the books where the books are currently at you know um what they should have done they should have done the sequel there you get what i'm saying um, somebody had brought up the argument when I said this that actors would have gotten older and blah. blah. Who would have cared? Have you seen the CGI that that is being used in the show? You're trying to tell me that. Look at look at Emilia Clark today. We're 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 what two years removed from season eight, right now, pretty much right because we're in April. It did come out in April. Um, I think it was 2018, right? It wasn't last year. Was the game of was it last year that Game of Thrones did? Could have been. I might be wrong. It could. I think it was last year. I think it was last year. So it's it's just a year. But in any case, Amelia Clark is still young. A lot of women. The only person you would have had to worry 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 about because nobody in the show was like super old. Kit Arrington. All of them are super young. Right. Sophie Turner, she was not going to get in, you know, she was super young, um, was it, Maisie, she, she was pretty young, girl that played Arya, she's pretty young, Bran is pretty young, all of them are pretty young, all they got to do is shave, shave their beards and put makeup on the girls, it wouldn't have been, how long would it have been, you know what I'm saying, how long would it have been? You know what I mean? It's not like these kids were going to get, you know what I'm saying? We have too many camera tricks to make, to this day and age to make actors 
um, look younger. You know what I'm saying? Plus, they didn't they didn't have to add to that because nobody would have cared. As long as, you know what I'm saying, nobody watches the show and be like, I wonder how old she is. Why does she look older than she actually is supposed to be? Nobody watches TV shows and, 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 and wonders that stuff. That's the only time we wonder about age when we're watching stuff is people who watch anime. Like, that's the only time we wonder about age because we don't want to sit here like, you know, gaga googling over over some girl that's like 12 years old actually in the anime and they make them seem so grown you get what i'm saying in the actual anime so we usually check for age because a lot of the anime they are made with kids or for kids so a lot of the times they are kids like 12 years year old i mean when naruto came out it was like he's 12 you know what i'm saying and all the kids were 12 you know what i mean so pretty much so you get my meaning but when it comes on to to spartacus it just goes to show you man the writing in this show is just it's just awesome it's just awesome man it's just awesome and i like where we're at heading now i love where we're heading now and i like to talk about this stuff um you know navia has come around in some sort of way I still don't really like what she did um, the situation with Lyta, I talked about it during the reaction. The situation with her, um, but I, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give her a second chance. I'm gonna give her a second chance to prove herself. You know what I'm saying? I, I think she's come to realize now that you know what I'm saying. These people who are Romans, they don't care, bro. They don't care. For them to banish her like that, or to basically give her away into shapes as a part of a bargain, they don't care about you, man. And plus, and the reason why he did it was because he didn't want anybody that still that lived in the city to stay there. Like that was the main purpose. It's not even because of what he actually said. Oh, you conspired with 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 the rebellion and, and Spartacus with. You know what I'm saying? The man we're actually chasing. I think that was a bullshit. I think that was bullshit. You know what I'm saying? When he said that, I don't think he, I don't think that's the main person. I think the main reason why he did it was because he wanted the city. And that's what he explained to the senator. If you listen to the dialogue in the show. So that's all I have to say about this, man. Um, this show is just awesome. I'm going to miss it when we finish these la the last reaction that's coming up. Um, for the last three episodes, I'm definitely going to miss it. I'll definitely have a video separate talking about my experience with Spartacus and why I would definitely recommend. I've already told people they need to watch Spartacus. So, um, and I'm not even done with it yet. Like, it's such a great series. It's, it's so well done. You know what I mean? I, 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 I thought it was always going to be about the arena and stuff like that. And they just veered off into something totally totally unexpected for me um writing wise um it's just an awesome show it's just an awesome show with awesome characters and i'm loving it and i'm going to miss it let me know what you think in the comment section and of course like the video don't forget to do that and of course subscribe if you're new there's more spartacus to come i will do three the final episodes on the next reaction so make sure you wait up for that all right thank you guys so much see you guys later Peace.